Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Grisentium here in Victoria 2. Last episode, we pieced out of our fourth great war. We took Campania, which has some factories for us. And we also took Indonesia. Well, most of it. We didn't get the Sunda Islands. We also didn't get Atse or New Guinea. But we got most of it. We got the important parts. We got the parts that have good population and good resources. And we're already using them to build more units. Why not? We have room to build 120 more regiments. So, of course, we have queued up 120 more regiments. We can also build some more shippy ships, which I think we'll be doing. But let's get our transports up first. Um, actually, let's build some dreadnoughts to go with that transport fleet. Uh, nine dreads, three dreads, that's 12. Yeah. Pretty good. Give them some battleships as well, or some cruisers. Probably some cruisers to go with them. 12 cruisers, 20 cruisers, there you go. So we'll have like a, a smaller Asian fleet, just so keep Asia under control. And I guess if we have to fight Japan, Japan has 11 ships. Why the fuck does Japan only have 11 ships? They're completely worthless as a great power. They, I've never seen Japan not build a navy. What are they doing? I don't know. Uh, but they are at war with Bhutan. They've been in that war with Bhutan for, I don't know, 20 years. And they can't get there. They have no way to get there because they only have 11 ships. Whatever. So we'll have a smaller navy over here to deal with this area. Uh, Australia is also going to be coming under our wing pretty soon here. We just have to get relations up a little higher. Uh, but right now, the main thing we have is a crisis war. Ukraine wants independence from Austria-Hungary. And we're going to find out who joins which side here. Uh, it would be a lot of land. Ukraine would be, I believe, these four states. Yes. 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 No. Okay, so just three states. Ukraine would be three states. Fair enough. But uh, that would be a large chunk of Austria-Hungary's power base. I'm pushing your Bhutans. No, that would be Japan pushing your Bhutans. Japan's being a douche. All right, Austria-Hungary wants us to back him. Um, if we back him, then someone else is going to have to back Ukraine. A great war does us no benefit right now, so I don't, I don't think there's any point to back him. We'll let someone else back him. Uh, no. The thing is, that it's, it's a great war that's not going to help us in any way. Italy versus Germany. Okay. We'll see what happens. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be white peace, and we're going to get some free prestige out of it. Which is fine. And Travanicore has been released. Yeah. <laughs> My sword could not even keep... Yeah, that's the thing. These guys, they took all this land from India, but they took so much land that they can't even police it all, so they're falling apart. It's so weird. Poor India, man. Poor India. Yeah, this is the saddest Great War. This is the saddest Crisis War ever. It's dumb. It's just going to be a white piece and free prestige. Which is fine. I guess I can't say no to free prestige. All the taxes are at 50. Yeah, I just don't fund the Navy for now. Well, we could fund the Navy a little bit. Maybe 50%? Yeah, 50%. Now let's go for 60%. Still making two grand a day. All right, we're fine. How are we doing on our, naval, on our uh, forts? Should be pretty good on forts. Upgrade the forts. Upgrade the forts. Forts are all upgraded. Upgrade the forts. Upgrade the forts. My goodness. Always want bigger forts, man. Never slack on forts. Why? Well, because they're expensive and it's a good thing to spend your money on. And it means anyone who sieges you will have to spend a lot extra time trying to tear down your forts. Are we fascist? Yes. You want to see the population of the country? We're at 282.7 million, but uh, the accepted culture population is only 3 million. There's only 3 million Greeks in our nation out of 270 million people. <laughs> hey, cavalry bonus. Nice. So is this going to go to crisis or are we going to get our peace? Just give me peace, dude. Oh, Kiva has been spat out. 
Lol. Russian reactionaries, Russian reaction. Okay. So Kiva is back with two counties. Great. Good job, Kiva. Kiva, the good work. Lol. Okay, we got our max railroads up. Great. Uh, could go for supply limit, maybe. Advanced meddlers, maybe. We're pretty much done with most of this shit. Factory tech. More factory tech. Admin efficiency, tax efficiency. Eh. None of this stuff really matters. Let's get our supply limits. Just in case. So we take less attrition. I can click a button. Yeah, better minimum wages. Why not? Check for factory upgrades. Wherever they're needed. And uh, we're going to take our clerk out of Aiden and put him in Campania. Yeah, they're only at 1% there. All right. Oh man, Serbia's looking good there. He's still nowhere close to a great to a secondary power. If he was a secondary power, he could take so much more land because uh, he has he would be able to take all this stuff from Austria-Hungary because that that as a secondary nation you can take lands that that would cause you to create a new nation. So if he were to take all those, he would become Yugoslavia, and uh, you can only do that if you're a secondary or a great power. So, but he's still too far away. What idea can we take? We can take Liquor Prohibition, which I don't want. Because it does... Uh, tax efficiency goes down and Pop Militancy goes up. It's a terrible decision. And there's no way this is going to go to a crisis. Or no way it's going to go to a war. Just white peace. Give me my prestige, dude. We're still making money. Okay, it might go to war. <laughs> we were just at war with Italy, and now we're going to go to war with Italy again. Okay. Uh-oh, who's got rebels? Egypt has rebels. Okay. What's up, Egypt? You gonna take care of them? Ah, yeah, you got them. It's just some reactionaries. Not a big deal. Why don't you military industrial complex? What's the point? Okay, white peace. Yay, we got prestige. Good. Who is more gangster, Rick Ross or Bob Ross? I don't know who Rick Ross is. And Bob Ross is dead. So I don't think dead people can be gangsta. Hey, the games of the 8th Olympiad. Athletes from around the world have gathered in our capital to compete in the Olympic Games. This is a great moment for our nation on the world stage. Yay, gain prestige and plurality. So we have hosted the 8th Olympics. You would think they would be uh, in Olympia, but they're not. They're actually in our capital this time. Whatever. Persia can be sphered. Good. Persia. Oh, and Ireland doesn't need that much influence. Let's kick Britain down to neutral. Everyone else is neutral. Bump it to one pip. Persia add to sphere. And we're going to keep influencing Persia like crazy because we need to... Actually, do you guys have a truce? No. Yeah, we need to keep Russia out of there. And we're going to have to do that with Egypt as well. we got to kick... Uh, Japan out of Egypt. Japan. There you go. Why does Japan have, like, no navy? I don't get it. Uh, one pip should be fine for Egypt now. 
I think we're okay. Athletes are victorious. So we hosted the Olympics, we opened the games, and then we also won a bunch of events, I guess. So we got a whole bunch of prestige for the Olympics. That was great. Also, France, do you want uh, an alliance again? Probably. Let's take a look. Is New Zealand fascist? I don't think so. I think it's a bourgeois dictatorship. Yeah, bourgeois dictatorship. It's got the radical faction in there. Anarcho-liberals. Hmm. Germany's going pretty hard at Serbia. Damn it, Germany. Uh-oh, Spain's got rebels. Where? No? There they are. Spanish fascists. Hey, there you go. Yeah, go fascist, Spain. Why not? Russia's still got rebels. Reactionaries? Communists. And reactionaries. God damn it, Russia. Just form the Soviet Union already, you lazy gits. He just keeps collapsing in the wrong ways. Take Brazil? Nah. We don't have any room for infamy. We can't take anything. And the light tank. It's the second upgrade. So we got the tank yet, and now we have the light tank. We could sphere Brazil, but eh. No bother. Hmm. Hmm. Egypt needs a little more focus, because Japan's being a douche. Damn it, Japan, stop being a douche. Yeah, Russia collapses in the wrong way. I don't know if you were here yesterday, Ready, but what happened is we had... There were rebels all over Russia. There were... Finland was covered with nationalists. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, all of them were covered with nationalists. Poland was covered with nationalists. Ukraine was covered with nationalists. Georgia was covered with nationalists. Azerbaijan was covered with nationalists. Kiva was covered with nationalists. There were nationalists all over Russia. What happened? Azerbaijan was the first nationalist to win their independence. And when they did, all the other nationalists instantly vanished. That's what I mean, that's what I mean by collapsing in the wrong way. You would think if there were nationalists everywhere, that when one of them succeeded, it would just mean all of them succeed. Not all of them disappear, but whatever. Oh, Liberia has collapsed. That means he's no longer in the USA's sphere. <laughs> that is tempting. That is so tempting to just go in there, eat them up, and then colonize this shit. Because they got coffee. I love coffee. You want to see the Americas? There's nothing to see. Uh, South America's pretty basic. Panama exists. Hello, Panama. We got the Panama Canal. And the USA has the northern part of Mexico. And Colombia's independent. That's it. And yes, that's Iceland up there. Hello, Iceland. Communist Iceland. Why am I a Fuhrer if I'm Greek? I got a question for you. Rumi, why are you typing if you don't know how to spell your? Riddle me that. I love that fascist flag for Italy. That's pretty boss. Oh my god, goodness. Are these more fascists or what are these? Republican Guard. These are uh, Jacobin rebels. Okay. Okay, Ireland. Let's go ahead and ban Britain. Get the fuck out of here, Britain. That'll give us one year of peace. Are there two Columbias? Yes. Uh, just like in real life, there is Columbia with a U, and there's also Columbia with an O. Uh, you can pronounce them the same way, it doesn't really matter, although I believe the one in South America is pronounced Colombia, whereas this is pronounced Colombia. It's almost the same thing. I 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, Spain will probably collapse to these rebels. Italy has lost great power status. Austria-Hungary is now a great power. Okay, that means we can sphere Italy. Uh, but we have a truce, so we can't do that right now. Hmm. And Austria is probably going to fight us on Serbia. But he's also going to fight Germany on these little states, which is good. Get him out of my hair. France has fallen great power status to China. Wow. Welcome to the great stage, China. With 391 regiments of absolute garbage technology. Even Guangxi has better tech than that. Yeah, way better tech. Well, uh, we're going to be fighting China soon. I get that feeling since we have his cores. Uh, get me some more airplanes. And some more soldiers. Yep, as soon as Austria spawned as a great power, he's uh, being a dick. Did not take him long to reassert his dickishness. But that's okay. Actually, Spain's doing an okay job of cleaning out these guys, but there's still a lot. That is a lot of rebels. What is the best territory in the game? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of good territories in the game. There's some big territories in the game, like Kiev is pretty physically large. I don't know what the best territory would be. Mongolia is a gigantic territory. There's a lot of good territories in the game. How goes our forts and shit? Oh, they're going to take a long time. Still waiting on small arms, artillery, explosives. Why are we having a tough time getting this stuff? What Does anyone know why are we not... I mean, we queued these up a while ago. Why are they not even starting to build? It says we have no lumber, no explosives, no artillery, and no small arms. Why? Surely, surely we can buy all that shit, right? Lumber. Is there just no lumber available or what? No, it says there's a ton of lumber available. Well, then why is it not being purchased? Why is the lumber not being purchased? I don't get it. Let me ask him, Chaplain. It says there's 6,000 available for our country, and we need X amount, but it's not actually getting there. Yeah, we're producing 6,000, and we're only using 1,000, so where the fuck is it all? That should mean we have a ton of it available, right? Hmm. It says it's available. It says we have 6,000 of it produced, and we're only using 1,000. 
But we don't need to buy it. We have it available. See? Available? Hmm. Is there a way to check how much stockpile we have of everything? Stockpile. We spent eight pounds yesterday to buy ten units. Huh. It says we're already buying to stockpile. Yeah, it says we're buying to st I mean, I, I don't know how this works. Just buy 2,000. Confirm trade. Tanks. Confirm trade. Small arms. Confirm trade. Ammunition. Confirm. I have no idea how this works. But I'm sick of waiting around for this shit. So let's do it. Concrete. Oh, canned goods, yeah. Airplanes, yeah. Concrete? That's fertilizer. Uh, concrete. Buy it. Uh, anything else that we need for our troops? Explosives, maybe. Definitely need the ships. Um, that's probably it. Let me check. It says we need small arms, artillery, explosives, and number. Ah, explosives. Explosives. Oh, we already did it. Small arms, artillery, explosives, and lumber. Alright, so we have everything queued up. What about for the soldiers that are not recruiting? We've been waiting on these forever. Just tanks. You guys need small arms. Canned goods. Okay. So it's all queued up now. So is that done right? Buy with a slider bar. How do you spend the treasury? Make sure re-click automate afterwards or you'll be in trouble. What do you mean re-click? So once we hit the confirm trade, then you click automate? This is not a very well explained system. In the game, I mean. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna let this go, I guess, for a month or two, and we'll see what happens. That should trash our treasury. Yeah. That's okay, we got cash. Nice. Yeah, you just buy all that goods. Yeah. Do you have what you need yet? Nope. Says we need small arms. Says we need artillery. Keep buying my goods. You know, we can tax people a bit. Still need small arms. Still need artillery. Okay, so by doing that, we are actually getting these goods. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Portugal has a next Ceylon. Good job, Portugal. My sphere has grown. I love it when spherelings go and do stuff on their own. Still need artillery. Come on. Get the damn artillery. Oh, we're back to making money again. That was quick. Oh no, Spain's in revolution. So you guys have gone democracy. Hmm. A communist democracy. Oh, I love it. It's a communist democracy. Okay, uh, well, we gotta go back to Spain, I guess. So he was ripped out of our sphere, we lost our alliance. We'll get our alliance back, though. Should be okay. Oh god, Austria's being a total douche in Serbia. Let's just go ahead and ban him. Okay, we got our alliance back with Spain. Great. 
Oh my god, we're making 14,000 ducats a day. And we have our artillery now. Good, okay. Can we just leave the buying? Here's a question. Can we just leave the trade going? Can we just leave that stuff going? Is that possible? Because our economy is still okay. Or should we set it back to automate? Help me, Twitch chat. Help me. <laughs> All right, we got our bonus to uh, supply limit. 50% more supply. Great. Yeah, sure. Keep focusing on industry. Why not? So what do these need to upgrade? These need steel, cement, machine parts, and electric gears. So does anyone know about whether we can just leave it? Steel, cement, machine parts, and electric gears. Steel, cement, oh, we already have that. Machine parts, and electric gears. This will make sure that our factories keep upgrading automatically. Great. So does anyone know if we can just leave these things on confirm trade and just let them keep buying? Or should we automate them? Click automate or else your country won't buy the stuff on its own. Oh. Okay. So you have to go back to automate for it to for it to so it won't it won't just keep buying them. I don't care about lowering taxes. Our taxes are fine. I'm just curious how this all works. Like, will they keep purchasing this stuff forever and ever and ever, or not? Check your stockpile. If it stays near 2,000, it's okay. Otherwise, rebuy. How do you check your stockpile? Is that here? It says we only have 13 tanks. And when I unpause, the number of tanks we have goes up. Not sure what that means. Using a response like, it won't, that doesn't help. What do you mean, it won't? Please use a full sentence, because you're like two minutes behind me. In the trade, stockpile on the bottom right. Okay, what am I looking for? Okay, I can see we have 2,000 of those, but we don't have 2,000 tanks. Oh, okay. Interesting. We don't have 2,000 tanks. Why not? Buy me 2,000 tanks. It didn't. It only bought one. It's not buying 2,000 tanks. Are there no tanks available? Oh, there are. there's only 15 tanks on the market. Wow. We need more tank factories. Holy shit. We desperately need more tank factories. I didn't realize there were no tanks available on the market. There's a lot of airplanes on the market, but there's no tanks on the market. Yeah, there's just no tanks available. There's, uh... 15.3 tanks available. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I can click a button. I like buttons. Wow, eight hour workday. That's getting kind of demanding.
How goes our sphere? So far, so good. Germany's actually getting more influence in Spain than we are. Why is that? I don't know. He's influencing faster than we are. Oh, I guess because we're a little distracted. No, that's true. Uh, we can lower this to one pip. And Egypt, we can lower to one pip. That will help a little bit. But yeah, Germany's actually getting Spain faster than we are. That's not cool. Hmm. Maybe we can use relations to get better. Just keep bumping relations up. Build factories in Spain? I guess we could. Oh wow, Japan finally added Bhutan to his sphere of influence. Oh, Spain doesn't allow us to build factories. Damn it. Damn it, Spain. You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. Sorry for all the meandering around in the trade window. Uh, but it looks, like, it looks like our stockpile is being kept at 2K for the items that we actually want to keep at 2K, which is nice. Uh, yeah, we have a ton of items that we're just keeping at 2K now, uh, which is good. It means that we won't ever run out of resources. We can always keep building shit. I like that. Obviously, when we're at war, it's not going to work. But for now, it works. Yeah, cool. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time, where hopefully more, more of Russia will fall apart. That'd be great. So, everyone, have a good day. Bye-bye.